Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve a hard disk one quick error 303 you're experiencing on your Windows computer where it's unable to boot up and you're experiencing this issue on a variety of computers. Specifically, Hewlett Packard seems to be one of the more common ones this error occurs on. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing, if you're able to boot into the built-in troubleshooting recovery options in Windows, go for it. Um, we're going to have to try and get access to a command line window. So if you can get to the recovery screen, um, we're going to catch up to you in a moment here. However, if you're unable to even boot into that, you will have to go download the Windows 10 Media Creation Utility with another device, so another laptop, desktop, tablet, whatever, basically. And you want to install that to a flash drive as a bootable media. I have tutorials on my channel for that, you can go search for that. Basically we're just going to be installing Windows 10 onto a flash drive. Very straightforward process guys on how to actually do that. And then you would go to your boot menu on your computer, look up your specific computer manufacturer on how to access the boot menu at that point, and you would select booting from either a USB flash drive or a CD or DVD, whatever method you chose to install it on. And from the boot menu, we're going to go down to CD-ROM drive, because in my case I'm using a DVD. However, some of you guys might be using a flash drive more than likely, so just want to put that out there. And we're just going to let this boot up for a moment. And we're going to select next and select repair your computer at the bottom of this Windows setup screen. And like I said, if you were on the recovery option menu before, this should look pretty similar. And once we select the troubleshoot here, it should be nearly identical. So we're going to go select command prompt to use the command prompt for advanced troubleshooting. So go ahead and left click on that. And now we're going to go type in chk dsk space. Type in whatever drive letter Windows is installed on. Most of you guys should be the C drive. Uh, you can try other letters as well, but we're going to try C drive here. And then a colon, which is one dot on top of another dot. So the shift and the colon key, which is right next to the L key on your keyboard. So just tap both those keys at the same time to get that colon. And then just hit enter on your keyboard. Now you also want to type in C and then colon again. And now we're going to type in, after you hit done that, hit enter. So once you typed in the C and a colon, hit enter. And then you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter your keyboard and this will begin a system scan and will take a couple minutes to run. So please be patient. And now once that's done, you should be able to close out of here. And we're going to go ahead and exit and continue to Windows 10.
So, this should have been a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.